Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about webpacks require context. I know a lot of you guys have questions about um, how JavaScript works now that we were using Webpack instead of the asset pipeline. Things are definitely different and requiring JavaScript and images and style sheets seem to be a little strange. So I wanna try and uh, debug some of that stuff for you guys so you can understand how it's working. Um, so when you're requiring files in JavaScript, you can use an import or a require. Rails ships with examples using require. Um, for example, this, and it passes in uh, to require the string of at Rails slash UJS. So it's looking for a folder um, with that name, and that is actually found in the node modules folder. Um, you will find an at Rails slash UJS um, folder in here. Now, this is going to find a package JSON and load this. 